ano yung ang kung ano magdi-dictate niyan is yung uh, damage dice which is yun nga yung nandoon. Okay. So need lang na higher value yung parang roll mo. Yes. Above the armor class of the yes. enemy of the okay. target. And yun. Uh, I guess yung others pwede naman nating i-explain while as we go along. Along the way. Sige, hmm. sige. Pero yan. Uh, and then, kung yung nasa likod ng character sheet mo, yung pinaka main screen ng Roll20, yan yung ano natin, that's where I'll project some of the maps uh, that we will use. Um, kung makikita mo kung anong, uh, yan, yung ngayon, nandiyan sila sa parang isang medyo large na chamber. And last we left off is nagrest sila. Okay. So, yan. Oh, you can move. Yep, you can move your token, but not other people's token. Pero I'm not allowed to move it like anytime now. Like when you dictate. Nothing in the dossier. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. Ideally, I, I mean, sa sabi ko naman sa inyo, if I'll allow you to move your tokens, pero most of the time I'll tell you to do it slowly, kasi. Uh. May mga tao din na sinasagad nila yung movement ng tokens nila. So, biglaan nilang may mare-reveal na parts ng map na hindi pa dapat. Ganun. So, yun. Yun lang. Pero I'll just tell you naman if you can move your token or not. Alright. And then also, uh, yung token, uh, yung grid, uh, syempre there are grids on the map. Uh, each grid represents 5 feet. So, uh, ang movement ni Paul, ni Bim, is 35 feet. So it means he can move seven, seven grid, seven tiles per turn. In combat, in a round of combat. Oh, okay. In lang. Okay. Mm. Ano pa ba? Ah, uh, and then yung tools ng roll twenty dun sa upper left ng screen. Yung fourth from the top is a ruler. Tough. Tough. Fourth from the top. Ah, uh, sa baba pa. Yeah, that's a ruler tool. So you can use it to measure on the grid mismo. You can just click it and then click and drag on the map. Yeah, snap to center na lang. Oh, ano din yan. Ano? Yan yeah, okay na yan. Snap to center. Tapos click, try mo mag-click and drag. May lalabas na ruler. Ah, uh, ganyan. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to make uh, stops or, or make corners, you can click. You habang nangka click and drag, you can right click. Para lumiko. Yan. Ah, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Ay, yan. Uh, yan lang. Yun ang, uh, uh, <laughs> yan yung mga common na tools na ginagamit in Roll20. And yan. Kapag nagruruler ka pala, nakikita din ang lahat ng players yun ha. Okay, sige. Yeah. And tapos, uh, if you go back to the mouse pointer tool, kung nag-long press ka sa map, anywhere on the map, uh, it will send out a ping. Just a long press lang. Ayan. So, yan. If you want to tell me you want to move your token somewhere, pwede mo i-ping na lang, and then I'll move it for you. Okay. All right. So... Uh, waiting on rain. Sige, uh, quick bio lang. Well, we Sige, go. Check. Hello, hello. I can hear you. I'm comfy ko kanina. Ito yung sot-sot ko kanina. <laughs> oh. Press ko. Oh, press ko yan. Press. Ito yung butas, oh. <laughs> Anong sinuot yan? Gagi, ano ba't ko sinuot yan? This is comfy, man. I'd oh. wear this like any fucking time of the day. 
I didn't know you were. Uh, I didn't know you were um, uh, speed through. <laughs> <laughs> Ay na pag nakikita to ni Matsuko ni Darlinda Gagawin ko basahan niya Do not touch my clothes <laughs> Saan nga ulit yung D20 na, na link? Saan nga uh, uh, You can Pwede mo i-roll Log in mo lang yung roll 20 Tapos lalabas doon Sa my games mo Okay Copy Kamusta? How's everyone's weekend turning out? I hope everyone's good Good and uneventful, which is good. Yeah, uneventful. At home lang. Good to hear, good to hear, good to hear, good to hear. Ah, uh, mag-open kami ng Pachix sa uh, province, kaya medyo. <laughs> sa oh, wow, wow. Hi, Rain. Hello, what's up, man? Wait lang. And my dogs being cute again. Wait lang. Oh, sure. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Nakuha na ni Lo yung details ni ano ni ni Paul. Ni Paul. It's a good. All right. So, yeah. Let's uh while everyone is getting ready, uh let's do a quick recap of what happened last time because it was two weeks ago since we last yes. played mm-hmm. mm. so basically the party uh, continued your exp- you continued your exploration in this uh in this abandoned house that you found the house that seems to be haunted <clears throat> and you continued exploring the third floors third and fourth floor where you found a specter of a woman and uh you begin to create uh, theories in your head, and some of you theorize that the specter could be the the nursemaid's uh, specter, the spirit of the nursemaid, and other things like that. And then you continue on to the upper, the attic, which is hidden by a secret door on the third floor. And uh, it's a good thing you found the key also. And you enter the attic, and the uh, five of you uh, explored the attic and it's pretty much empty here except for a room that was that has a lock on the outside and uh, the the lock on the outside of course uh, signifies that there is something inside this room that should not be let out but being the curious people that you are you opened up the you open up the door and uh, upon entering it is the room of children, two child to be, two children to be exact, uh, and they are both familiar to you. The children are already dead. Uh, their, their skeletal remains are located in the middle of the room, but you can see a dollhouse that is a perfect replica of the house that you are standing in, and on one corner is a toy chest, and of course, uh, not Sentin and Malakai, uh, and no, and Hellboard. The two of you inspected the dollhouse, and upon closer inspection, you can hear a voice of a young girl uh, begin to speak to you, and uh, it's a familiar voice. It's a voice of Rose, uh, one of one of the two children that led you inside this house, and uh, as you entered, uh, as you communicated with Rose, uh, Rose just tells you that you should not touch their toys. And you learn that uh, Rose and Thorn are has probably passed away due to starvation, because they were locked inside this room for God knows how long, and uh, they were locked none other by their parents, their mom and dad, uh, who told them to stay here in this room to be safe from the monster that is in the basement, and uh, upon. Uh, Realizing that you guys needed to go to the basement, you ask Rose on where the basement is, and Rose pointed you to a a secret door on the attic level that leads into a spiraling staircase that goes downwards into the basement of the house. And yeah, uh, the spirit of Thorn also appeared, which is the brother of Rose, the younger brother brother of Rose, 
And there you learn that uh, their third sibling, uh, a boy named Walter, uh, Rosenthorn has never actually seen Walter. So, yeah. It seems like uh, the spirit of Rosenthorn and the image of Rosenthorn that you saw outside of the house are not similar because they are both because they are saying different things and uh, yeah that just leads to more questions but you get the feeling that uh, what they are saying is true and uh, they are just victims and they are not trying to fool any one of you and so with the guidance of Rose you descended down the spiral spiraling staircase which led you into this dungeon surprisingly and uh, as you stepped out of the staircase you guys began exploring uh, this 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 uh, underground level of the house and you found there are a lot of beds in this dungeon and of course who could not uh, who could forget the ghostly chanting that you heard as soon as you set foot in, on the dungeon level at this point the chanting seems like gibberish it's still it's still hard to identify from where you guys are but you can pinpoint that the the chanting comes from deeper within the dungeon itself and you guys continued exploring and you found catacombs um the crypt of <clears throat> the parents of rose and thorn and also uh a special crypt that is made for Rose and Thorn also, but the, the 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 crypt remains empty at this moment. And yeah, you guys continued on further, and found a room that has a statue. Uh, that is the room where you guys are right now. Uh, this, uh, itong star dito sa right side ng room na to. Yung malaking star it represents a man uh, wearing a uh, a fine noble clothing and you can see it has shades of red and black on it and he has a widow's peak and a long black hair and his skin looks kind of pale but his hand is his left hand is resting on a statue of a wolf itong smaller star is the statue of the wolf while his right hand is holding a uh, a crystal ball <clears throat> that uh, Prinella you took it out of the hands, and as you took the ha took the ball out of the hand of the statue, this uh, these shadowy figures begin to rose up on the corners of the room, and they begin attacking you. And after a quick round of combat, <clears throat> you manage to uh, to triumph over the shadows, and. Uh, Having sustained some injuries, you guys decided to take a short rest in this room where you guys are right now. That's where we left off last session. So, as you guys are resting for an hour, is there anything you guys want to do in this room? Are those skeletons? Yes, they are skeletons that are chained to the walls. And uh, you guys uh, remember that uh, on top... The shadows originated from some of the skeletons here. All right. All right. You can make an an arcana check, arcana or investigation. Arcana 7. Yeah, you look at it and it does not uh, resemble uh, any magical items that you've uh, found so far. Uh, you you spent the time analyzing the object and just looking at it and it begins to sink into you that they, it seems like this crystal orb is just a decorative piece and does not hold any magical properties. Can I uh, inst... Yeah, it, it does look like it can be sold for money. It looks quite expensive. Wow. Can I inspect the the skull uh, skeletons that are chained if there's anything of value there? Or anything you can. of significance? 
Yeah, you can. Uh, you can make an investigation check. We were able to identify that um, the statue was um, who was it against Strad? Strad, yeah. Strad. Hellborg confirmed that uh, the Hellborg. statue is the statue of Strad. Okay, okay. Pano ulit pag roll? Um, pano ulit? Sorry. You just click on uh, the word investigation on your character sheet. There's another path here, um, in front of Hellborg. Can I look at it? Yeah, you can. Uh, loading lang ha. Oh, it's dark. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you don't have a source of light. Ang source of light mo is from Hellborg, I think. Or I would like to investigate the ball as well. I rolled an eleven. All right. Yeah. Uh. 11 yeah you it looks like the skeleton have been here for quite some time uh, you see there are no uh, remnants of flesh on their bones they have been totally dried out it seems like they have been here for decades if not probably a century okay. I I still have a torch I'll give I'll give a torch to what you call that to to the halfling all right. Um, not Stantin, you can also make an Arcana or Investigation check. Yo, natural 20. All right. Uh, you look at the crystal ball, the crystal orb that uh, Prinella has taken from the statue. Wait long. Yep. Uh, you take a look at it. And uh, as you gaze deeper in the orb, it really is look like it really does look like that. It's only for decorative purposes only. <laughs> There's nothing there. But you know that it can uh, this type of crystal orb, especially this size, could probably sell for twenty five gold on the market if you find the a correct set, the correct seller at least a uh, buyer. I mean. Okay. <laughs> Have okay. the statues been thoroughly checked last time? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they've already investigated the statue last time. Okay. I'll, I'll look up on the... Yeah, uh, and Malakai, as you take a look at uh, what lies beyond, there's a door in front of you. I notion to Malakai, um, a stopping motion. Um, I I go in front of the door and try to investigate the door if there's traps or whatever. All right, yeah, make an in another investigation check. All right. Okay. <clears throat> you can roll an additional d4. Already my bow. <laughs> All right. From afar. Okay, so rolling normally and uh, slash onion slash roll D4. D4 yep. Uh, my dot yung sinend. Sorry. D4. Right. 21. With an investigation of 21, it does look like this is just a simple wooden door. And it does not appear to be trapped. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you open up the door, and uh, the room leads into a <clears throat> uh, a chamber. At the center of the the chamber is a a table and suspended above the table is a simple chandelier not to nothing too special nothing too grand and uh, yeah on top of the table there are there's a an empty clay jug and there are two uh, flagons atop of it okay Yeah, and then uh, yeah, itong itong nasa corners they are uh, iron candlesticks uh, that has been uh, melted away. Oh, okay. All right, and you continue on, Prinella. 
you lead the party and uh, you enter a a chamber another chamber it leads into another chamber and uh, there is a large wood frame bed in the center of the room and uh, the mattress it looks really old uh, there's a buildup of uh, dust covering the bed itself and at the foot of the bed is a wooden foot locker uh, yeah to a wooden foot locker and then there are ano to? there's a crate dito sa corner of the room and you can see that there are um, bits of wood that are sticking out of the tor the, the crate itong crate na to. and over here is a uh, an old cabinet The crate, all right. I'll, yeah, I'll you. All right. Yeah. You... Yeah. Uh, yeah. You look over the crate, and it contains uh, torches, a lot of them, and you can you can count that there are probably thirty torches in here. In this crate. 30? Yes. Oh, I'll I'll, rep I'll replenish my torches. I I expended what two already? Two or three? Oh, sorry, two. So I'll yeah. get to replenish. Yep. Um, it's it's weird to have uh, this bedroom next to a dungeon where people mm -hmm. are chained up. Can I try and check who might have stayed here? What kind of person in the family stayed here? Can I look around any personal effects effects in the room? Kung... Yeah, uh, you can make a perception check. Okay. Yes, yeah, I'll investigate the cupboard. Oh, sorry, the the cabinet as well. All right, yeah. Uh, Helborg, you open the cabinet and it's already, uh, it's already crumbling apart. You can see parts of the wood has been rotting away, and uh, it does not hold anything inside the cabinet. It's empty. Okay. And Malaka, you look around and you do not see any footprints. Uh, you don't any see any personal effects lying about. Uh, it seems like most of this, uh, at least from where you are. Uh, the it, yeah, it's pretty hard to tell. Who it's lives because here. I'm short, no. It's because I'm yeah, short. Yeah, yeah. You can don't I, have the eye level. Uh, the footlocker. Foot locker? The storage box. The yeah, the right. footlocker. All right. So, uh, Prinella, you open the footlocker, and as soon as you open it, uh, you find a folded cloak that looks uh neatly folded. And there's a a small wooden coffer inside this footlocker, a chain shirt, a mess kit, a flask of liquid looks like oil, a lantern, a set of thieves tools, and a book. Alright, I list ako na lang dito si chat. Dami. Eh. Okay. Cloak. Is that a spell book? Uh, do you want to take a look at it? Can somebody can somebody tanky take a look at it? <laughs> All right. So yeah, uh, Prinella, you reach in and grab the spell book, and as soon as you grab the spell book, the wall behind you burst, and the wall at the side also burst. Dang. Oh. Shit. As two, as two creatures <laughs> burst out of the wall, I want everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> Welcome to combat, part of me. <laughs> Before before anything else coinciding with um, Prinella's opening the book, is it okay if I get the flask, the oil flask? Or, or... this is all happening instantaneously. Ah, okay, so I, did, I did You guys that. are you guys are taken by surprise. By the if way, we, if we so, take, yeah. if we put the book back, will the doors close? <laughs> uh, you don't know. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> probably not, buddy. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, click on your token first before you roll initiative. Oh my god, I rolled too many times. Yeah, okay, lang. I'll take the first one. Okay. Uh, middle column, uh, upper ng middle column. Armor class. Katabi ng armor class. Ay, katabi ng armor class. Ayun, initiative minus one. Hello. <laughs> one! Nice! Nice! nice. <laughs> Okay, nakarol na balat. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. So, appropriately sila yung nauna. 
Go <laughs> nga. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you guys are. Uh... And the creature, the first one to act is the one outside here. It moves and steps out and sees Helborg. No, it sees Prinella. Wait, doesn't see Prinella. Alright, not the same space. Kyo, sige. Oops. Nagalo. Alright, see, see, see. What are those? God. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this one tries to swipe his claws at you, Prinella. That is a. A6. What is your armor class? 18, yeah. The, so the first attack misses. And that's the end of its turn. <clears throat> Prinella, what do you want to do now? Alright. Uh, on which one? The one behind you. Etong nasa north side. Alright. Gonna make a dexterity save. Uh, he f succeeds the dexterity save, so he doesn't take damage. As you cast your spell, a burst of flame, uh, radiant flame, emerges on the creature. But unfortunately, it takes no damage from it. Do you want to move? Or just stay where you are? Uh, you used your action to cast this. Uh, by the way, did you did you drop the book or are you still holding on to it? All right, all right. Malakai. Okay, so short guy tactics. I will hide under. Um, who is over there? Prinella, I think. Yeah. Yes. Actually, Pr Prinella and Helborg are there. Uh, Must keep casting and spacing. All the more. All the better. So, okay, I'll, I'll still hide under them, so I will roll for stealth. Uh, will you allow me? Yeah, of course. Okay. You are a halfling, so you are naturally stealthy. Nice. 19, alright. Uh, okay, so uh, can I attack with advantage? Yep, you can. Perfect. Uh, which one are you going to attack? Uh, the one that we have, the one that was targeted by Predator. Oh, okay. Uh, it's the one here, Dito sa taas. Okay. Alright. Make your attack roll with advantage. Oops. 18 hits, roll for damage with sneak attack. Uh, eight. 8 damage total. Alright, not bad. Yeah, you get in, be in between the legs of uh, Helborg and Prinella and find a uh, perfect opportunity to strike and you strike the ghast with your dagger. By the way, it's okay. a ghast. It's a ghast. And yeah, it's, it's taken by surprise. Um, does it look like it, it took the full brunt of my damage? Yep, it does look like it. Ah, oh, okay. It seems like it's not resistant to your weapon, at least. Okay, okay, that's good to know. I end my turn then. Right. Next up is the ghast turn that uh, you just attack. And th this one is still going to go for Prinella. But this time he is trying to bite Prinella with a 17. 18 your armor class, mono. Yeah. The gas uh, gets to you and tries to bite you. However, your armor is protecting the part where uh, he, at least his fangs would sink in. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. gonna get, that's gonna be the end of its turn. And Bim, we go to you. What do you want to do, Bim? Okay, maybe uh, since I think uh, they're all attracted to Grinella. I mean, the book. Yep. May I suggest you pass the book? Uh, towards someone from the back. By the way, I'm not allowed to move, right? I know. Yeah, you can move if you want. Yes. Uh, in combat, you have an action and movement that is separate. So, in a your action, it can be used to attack with a weapon, cast a spell, 
um, interact with an object. Uh, it it depends. Eh? It depends on the situation. Okay, but uh, moving uh, already moving, could be one turn. Can, you can do no, no, no. So your movement, you can do it before or after your action. You yeah. Can both. As yeah. long as you don't exceed your movement. So in this case, your movement is thirty-five feet. Tama yeah. Alex, thirty-five yep. feet. Tama, tama. So thirty-five feet, your movement mo. Kunwari, if you move like two blocks, that's ten, and then you can attack, and then you can move back again for the remainder, or less than the remainder. Basta yeah. you don't use the end. Basta hindi ka mag overcut ng rating time. Okay. Like that. So I could see uh, the one they're aiming at. Yeah. Uh, this one uh, on the back has taken some damage. Then I'll use my uh, bow. Alright. Uh, make an attack roll with your bow. Uh, long bow. 10 unfortunately misses. Oh. Yeah, you try to take your aim and uh, you let loose an arrow just as the gas Prinella. is <laughs> going in from Prinella and it misses. Uh, you still have uh, five foot of movement. I ah, know, Thir thirty feet of movement. You only move for five feet. Uh, is there anything else you want to do on your turn? Do you want to move or stay? I'll hide. All right. You run back to the entrance of the door, and uh, Helborg. All right. So Helborg utters utters to himself. Looks like we're doing this again, and I roll, I invoke the Crimson Rite of the Storm, so I will All right. roll, uh, I, will re I will roll a d4 dice to determine how much life force I steal for the damage, or how, how much life force I will use. Oh, shit. You take four damage. Yeah, you take four damage, but at least your rapier now is crackling with lightning energy. Yes. And uh, that's my bonus action. Um, I scream towards the ghasts and attack it with all my might um, using using the lightning rapier that I'm all right. handling with me, uh, grasping with. Right. My dueling hand. You're still attacking the one? Yeah, the one that Prenella damaged. Alright, see. Okay. Gonna, gonna click the rapier. Click lang, no? The yeah, click the rape, the word rapier. Normal roll. Yep. 13 hits, exactly what you needed. Roll for damage. Um, I'll just roll the ano again, ah, yung nasa... Ah, uh, i-click mo lang, i-click mo lang yung word na rapier dito sa chat box. Ah, okay. Sige. So, I have dueling. Um, I have a fighting style dueling, so may plus Yeah, two automatic yun. Automatic na yeah. included. Sama na siya. Yes. Okay. Indeed, a total of 14 damage, 10 of which is piercing and 2 is lightning. Alright. Yeah, like you pull damage. back. Kasama na yun, no? 1d4, no? Kasama yeah, na yun. Kasama yun. Medyo mahina nga voice mo yung voice okay, mo rin. Great. Can you hear me now? Is it better? Yeah, and better. Yeah, yeah, better. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. You pull back with your uh, uh, lightning-infused rapier and you strike on the... the gas behind... Uh, that emerged behind you. And yeah, you managed to make a pretty deep cut. Uh, no, it's a deep... Pierce, deep stab. As you see, the gas is begin to begins to bleed, and uh, it does look like he sustained a heavy amount of damage, and probably just a little more would be enough to knock it dead. All right. But yeah, uh, that's your action and bonus action. You can move if you want, but they might take an attack of opportunity against you. I'll stand my ground, All right. and I'm gonna reduce my hit points to ten. Yep. Reduce it by four. And not Stantin, we go to you. Okay, so I'm not able to see them, so I'll move ten feet All right. towards here. And yeah. I will attack this yes. Alright. With my Eldritch Blast. What else? <laughs> <laughs> 
Warlock Blades. Warlock okay, Eldritch Blast. Hey. Yeah, that hits. Roll for damage. Nice. Okay, that's... Mm. Kulang pa. May charisma modifier pa, diba? Ah, kasama na yan. Kasama na. Ah, naayos mo na yung card. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you deal 10 damage as you shoot your Eldritch Blast across the room and it hits the ghast in the... on the far end of the room, from at least from where you are. Yeah, it's it's a it's a solid hit, and you can still have movement if you want. I'll stay. All right. Next is the gas turn, the one that you just hit, not seventeen, and it is still gonna go for Brinella. He tries to strike you with his claws. That is a twenty. <laughs> you take you take nine slashing damage. Wow. And you need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh -huh. Saving throws nasa ibabaw ng skills. 20. All right. You nice. managed to to fight off what uh whatever this is, but you you clearly feel that there is something with the claws of these creatures. But yeah. You take 10 damage and that's the end of that's that uh the ghast's turn. Next is Prinella. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah, he fails and he takes 7 damage. All right, once again you cast your spell and the burst of radiant flame emerges from where the ghast is. And as the flames die out, uh, you see what remains is basically a charred remain of a of a humanoid <laughs> as it falls down to the ground and it is no longer moving. Uh, you still have movement if you want. Nine. All right, Malakai. I'll do the same thing. I'll try to hide under my tall companions. All right, make a stealth check. Nice. Nice, yeah. And yeah. yeah, you can make your attack roll with advantage. Perfect. One moment. <laughs> Halfling is neck. <laughs> this is Nikki. 18 hits. Roll for damage. With sneak attack. 9. Not bad. Okay. Um, will you uh, let me, as an interaction take the book from Prinella. I will if it's Prinella is holding it out. Uh you know I'm I'm kinda sneaky. I am a rogue. Um like or can I can I just whisper um my uh pr pr Prinny? Prinella was it? Prinny. Nice. Girl. Prinny. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's that's her nickname from that one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give me the book. Give me the book. Yeah, you get the book. Okay, and then I skedaddle. You know, I waddle over to the other side of the room. You know, I give a nod to a Bim for giving that clue out. You know, I think they're after this. You know, let me go out. Although, as I say, as I think that, or as I say that, I'm worried other doors in this place might open. But we'll find. We'll find out. I'll hide under dot standing para. All right. Them. Okay. All right. Will you give me the book, Prinella? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nasa yun na. Nasa yun na yung book. And do the ghouls, uh, does this one ghoul look at me? You get the feeling that it does. Oh. Uh, Interesting. 
Bulin mo ako, bulin mo ako. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you're gonna run under constant, not Constantine. Constantine, tali. <laughs> All right. Not Constantine. <laughs> And uh, I guess that's the end of your turn. Yep, yep. That's the end of my turn. All right. Bim, we go to you. Okay. Uh, who has the lowest HP? Uh, out of your party. Out of the uh, enemies. Oh, the other. Ah, uh, it's dead. just yeah, one yeah. Another. The other one dead. Only one yeah. remain. Uh, I'll stay here. Then just use a basic attack with a bow. All right. Make an attack roll with your bow. Uh, Eighteen hits. Uh, roll for damage. Roll for damage. Uh, how you do click, you do that? uh, yeah, you click the word longbow. Dito sa chat box. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the favorite full damage, so uh, you deal seven piercing as you shot the gas from across the room. And uh, yeah, uh, the gas is currently bleeding, and it seems to be struggling to stay alive. Nice. Do you want to move, or uh, is that the end of your turn? It's okay. I'll stay here. All right, Helborg. All right. Um, seeing an opportunity with the gas bleeding, I strike it through with my lightning rapier. All right. Make an attack roll. Okay. Rapier. Normal. Oh, nice. That's a crit. So, yeah, just click on the rapier word on the chat box. You deal a total of 11 plus 16, 7... Ah, what? 11 plus 6, 17. 17 damage. And yeah, with that, Helberg, how do you want to do this? All right. So, I... Um... I stab it in the center, in center mass and mention. Mm. Uh, Be gone, foul beasts. You will not harm my companions ever again. <laughs> And I thrust the lightning. I thrust the lightning rapier. See right. the spark of the charred flesh. Yeah. As you do that, yeah, yeah you can see arcs of lightning uh, strike from your rapier towards uh, the ghast's flesh all over its body. And it's yeah, it you you. Alam mo yung ano yung scar na pag tinamaan ka ng lightning yung parang creeping na ano. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what remains on the ghast as uh, <laughs> these uh, yung parang creeping na scars. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it originates from the point of entry of your rapier. As you pull it out, the ghast falls down on the ground and it's dead. No, it's no longer moving at least. <clears throat> But yeah. All right. That's the end of It's... combat and... What do you guys want to do next? I want to investigate the book that um, uh, that small guy is holding. All <laughs> right. Malakai. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you open up the book, Malakai, it it uh, a name is written on it. It says written on the at least the first page of the book is. Uh, ito. <clears throat> This spell book belongs to Sibo Sparkle Gem. Sibo Sparkle Gem. And uh, among the other things that you found in the footlocker for Helborg and Prinella, since you guys are in front of the footlocker, is a cloak. Does it, look ah, like it's, uh, no. Does it look like it's displacing? Uh, it's it's surprisingly it doesn't look that that old. It's still it's still it's still relatively parang medyo malinis pa. Can I investigate what the cloak is if it has if it has other properties than just being an ordinary cloak? Uh, you can make an arcana check if you want. I I like to go to Prinella. Uh, pre, uh, uh, to check the uh, scratch. Yeah. Five. <laughs> so... uh, I, I uh, am... Prinella, Prini, I, I know you found this book, but you know, mind if I keep it? 
my mama always told me I got uh, uh, I got magic in my eyes. Could look like maybe I was just high or you know, but really wanted to check this out. Prinella wants to sell it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I wanna check on. Uh, I wanna check on Prinella too, because earlier she suffered damage, and there was something about the scratch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for you, Helborg, the cloak. Uh, the cloak looks beautiful. It's a red cloak with uh my gold lining around it. It looks clean. It does not look dusty. And yeah, also Malakai, the spell book is uh, majority of them is written in in halfling. I'm sorry, no mish pala. No mish. Yeah. Not yeah. not halfling. Yeah, see bow sparkle gem sounds like a no mish name. But yeah, uh All right. Uh, what else do you, do you guys want to take from the? Can I get the lantern and the flask? Um, yeah. The flask will be my refill of the oil I used earlier, and the lantern so that I won't need to carry the torch. Okay. Anymore. All right. Yeah, you can. If you want. A small wooden coffer. What's inside? Uh, yeah, you open up the coffer, and uh, inside the the small wooden coffer are four vials of liquid. Uh, these vials contain a a shimmering red liquid, which you guys know is a potion of healing. Ooh. There are four of them. Uh, yeah, you can use one. You can drink one. You regain 2d4 plus 2 hit points. You just roll for it. I'm I'm down I'm down six also. Can I? I'll use also. I'll also you use one. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So Prinella, you regain six hit points. My plus two pan two d four plus two. Roll. So you rolled the four. The mm. four. Can you not slash roll two d four? No two d four. Yeah. But then yung idrecho plus two two d four plus two. Ah two d four. Kalo ko na perfect rules siya ne. What kalo ko one d. Ayan, say Helberg. One, one, two. <laughs> you yes, both I, ones. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, pero, hey, you only took four damage naman eh, so yeah, tama lang. That's good. That's yeah. But yeah, you still have two extra healing potion. Can I keep one for myself? Go yeah. Uh, ay, kayo bahala. It's up to you how okay. you want to dis distribute it. Let's give one to the tank. Yeah, let's give... Um, we're the melee dealer, so I think it's best for us to have one each. Yeah. Okay. Ano pa ba? Flask of oil, I got that. Uh, Meskit, ano siya? Uh, Pangkail. Yeah, kainan. Think of it as medieval Tupperware. <laughs> yeah. Pero basically, you realize that what you found in these, uh, in this footlocker at least, are mostly items that belong to an adventurer like, a, like yourself. Yeah, let's explore further. All right. Wala na. Make a perception check. Oh wait, san ba tayo ng galing? From here ba tayo ng galing? Yep. Yeah, dito. Jan. Exploring. Oh, okay. There's a hallway here. You there is a hallway. Order? You want to maintain marching order? Hmm. Yeah, marching order, Dio. All right. Uh, yeah. You try to pinpoint the location of the 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 source of the chanting, but it sounds pretty blurry because it's just bouncing off the walls. Nage echo echo lang siya so. Kind of hard to tell. Okay. All right, let's just push forward. Yeah. No, no, we came from you, here. Uh, yeah, you, you guys came from here, 
Pero you've already explore, explored th this part over here. Ito na sa taas. Right. I'll follow. Yep. Marching order. <laughs> you've already been to the right. Yeah. Nanggaling na kayo dyan. And yeah, uh, it leads into a the the flight of stairs goes further down. All right. Uh, wait long. I'll move your tokens. Wait. As we go down, I I clutch my rapier still still with lightning. Yeah. And I utter to the group, be prepared for anything. Ipo mo mag expire yan. Anong duration ng ano? As long as I. Ani ani. Yeah, as, as long as he's saying, holding it. Uh, oh, what a bit And uh, <laughs> as you descend the stairs, as the, the party descends the stairs, uh, the chanting becomes clearer and clearer. And what they're saying is, he is the ancient, he is the land. I can hear it now. I can hear it now. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. Is it too late to go out? What the fuck are we ourselves into? <laughs> Shit. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, uh, the stairs lead into a, a larger chamber. It seems like this is a uh, parang antal dito. Parang reliquary. Uh, there are oh. nooks in the walls, and along each nook, it seems like there is an object uh, lying on top of it. And um, yeah. There's quite a lot of them actually. Is that a dagger? Yep. Look, there seems to be something here. I th All right. All right. Marching order. Marching order. Oh my lord. So as you go down that way, it leads into what looks like a prison chamber cuz lining along the walls are uh, shackles that are bound a uh, chain nakapako siya sa walls and uh, the shackles are currently empty there's no one in there but it does look like this is where they kept prisoners. Oh my god, yeah, I can see it. May big fight na tayo doon. I just know it. <laughs> You've been playing a lot of uh, video games and all that. It's like a big boss fight coming, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's a big ass fucking room, man. Yeah. See this shit? It's an obvious, <laughs> obvious boss room. <laughs> <laughs> See this big ass fucking. We don't yeah. know yet. As you, <laughs> as you stand there, Prinella, and you look onwards, uh, it seems like uh, the. Uh, the pathway leads into a downward incline. Ito yun, yung downward incline. And okay. at the base of it are murky water. And there is an iron portcullis. Itong tatlong nandito. Which is closing it. Wait. We probably need to interact with the objects. We have a rogue one. who can um, sneak in. Wait, yeah. Is the portcullis <laughs> keeping things out or keeping things in? That you don't know. You don't see any lever or mechanism that can open the portcullis from where you are. Um, I go, I go just, just right beside the liquid, and I may I inspect if it's water or anything else. Uh, how are you going to inspect it? Um, I'll, I'll kneel lick, and lick. um. Are you gonna lick it? Put the ladder. 
uh, right. I'll kneel. I'll kneel in front of it and I'll, I'll check with the lantern and try to touch a little bit of it. All right. Yeah. You put the lantern beside it and it, it yeah, it bounces off light. It does look like water. As you touch it, it feels warm, but it doesn't burn your fingers off, uh, and probably it's just water. Okay. Could be. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of relics here. Whew. Yeah, there is quite a lot. Take a look. Okay, I also inspect other relics here. Um, low of Prinella as well. Actually, uh, ililista ko na lang lahat ng ano, okay. relic na nandiyan. Medyo madami. Okay. Small mom fight. Knife car from a human. A dagger with the red skull. There is a total of uh, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 items and 13 niches along the wall. Oh my god. Can I inspect the prison cells again? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. Uh, uh, what are you trying to find? Probably a mechanism. Just a All right. Uh, you can make you can make a perception or investigation check. Perception or investigation. Whichever is higher. Yeah, whichever is higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, thirteen, thirteen, sixteen. All right. So yeah, while the party is uh, focusing on the, the the different relics in the reliquary, uh, Bim, you decide to go to the prison cells and uh, inspect it on your own, and you go through. Uh, you make a pretty uh, in-depth search of your surroundings, and uh, you did not. You were unable to find any mechanism along the wall or along the shackles itself. But you notice something as you are inspecting this area over here. This wall over here, there is a faint crack in the wall. And it's in the shape of a door. Oh. Ito, wall over here. And uh, given your, uh, your knowledge about this area from what you've encountered in the house, this could probably be a secret door. It could be. I follow. So, yeah. so I assume that this is what Here. Uh, I'll follow as well. Here. It's over here. There's a crack. So who's the strongest one here? Break through it. <laughs> Alright. I think Rain, yeah. Rain looks okay. like a, the big guy. Okay, so I'll... I have a hammer and a crowbar. And I'll try to, um, I'll try to force open the door. All right, you do that, and uh, the door slowly opens, and it leads oh, into the go. inner chamber. <laughs> and uh, from where you are, from where you are, Helborg, you can clearly see that there is a, a wheel here, that seems to be the mechanism that uh, is connected to the portcullis. Okay. I bet. Yeah. Uh, I utter to the group. Um, what? Let's uh, let's do marching orders again. Just to be the safe. chanting. The chanting. By the way, uh, you you guys are a hundred percent sure it emanates from this, the center of the room. Oh. <laughs> a recording. But we don't see anyone, right? You There's don't see no anyone. One. Okay. And uh, as you take a step inside Brunella, the chanting suddenly stops. Oh, she's right! <laughs> Gary. Alan. Ah, wait lang, wait lang. I just want to show you something. 
Yeah, uh, it's pretty clear to you guys that this is a ritual chamber of some so some sort, and this is what the room looks like. Oh my god! Okay. And yeah, uh, yeah, you can see the in the middle of the room, uh, a bunch of uh, steps that uh, rise to form an octagonal uh, dice or altar in the middle of the room. And uh, yeah, it's surrounded by water. And at the uh, the hole in the southern wall, it leads into a. It looks like a naturally uh, natural part of a cave. Pero yeah, you can see that uh, it is filled with uh, bits of vines that are creeping. Okay. Can I'll inspect the altar? Ano, ano? I'll inspect it. I'll inspect the altar. Anong box? Itong nasa gitna. Yeah, it's Ito. an altar. Can I inspect what's in what's what's uh what's in the altar? I inspect the altar too. All right. <laughs> mag mag check pa kami or titinan lang namin. Sige, wait lang. Uh, as you guys uh, enter. Uh, and uh, not Stantine and Helborg, you guys, the bo both of you step on the on the elevated uh, dice. Uh, you can he you can hear voices once more rising. However, it's chanting something different. You can hear it say, "One must die." Over and over again, and uh, the altar is empty. By the way. Yeah, uh... <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, Prinel, as you enter that, uh, you can see it's just a mass of uh, vines and earth that is just crumpled on top of each other. But yeah, it's it's a it's a small cave. Parang may butas lang talaga dito. I would like to observe what everyone else doing. If there's anything uh, unusual, like with the All water right. or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. I want to open right. the wheel. Oh. I want to. Yeah. Oh. I'm right. pretty That's sure nothing ha bad will happen once we open. As the wheel. you, as you, <clears throat> as you try to open the wheel. It's it's a bit. You get the feeling that the mechanism is a bit rusty, and it takes a bit ama a, a small amount of force. I need you to make a an athletics check. Athletics check. Seven. All right. You try to pull on it, and it's too heavy for you. Okay. I'll shout. I need help over here. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, both of you can make. Uh, yeah, Prinella, you can roll a an athletics check as well. But yeah, as this chanting continues, what do you guys want to do? Yeah. One must yeah, you can die. do it, Prinella. You do it, and uh, you guys hear the cranking of the portcullis as it as it slowly rises. And yeah, at least you have two way out, two ways out of this chamber if you if you need it. But yeah, the chanting still continues. Can one of us drop blood into the altar? You can try. Um, question. Uh, can we can we see any movement of stone into the altar? Like any indication that uh, a trapdoor would open here or anything? You can make an investigation check if you want. Do or I perception. To, do I have to go there? It helps, but uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the water is not deep. I'm assuming. Yeah, the water is only about a feet deep. It's shallow. 
So it's in your belt. Ano sa waist mo na? Nah, hindi naman. Nasa mga tuhod naman siguro. Okay, tuhod. So um, investigation or perception? Can I choose investigation? Yeah, yeah you can. Whichever is higher. Nice. Not twenty. Not twenty. All right. You look around, and you don't find anything. It's just a simple dais that is just elevated out of the water. You don't see any trap doors around the, the, where you stand, and also even on the water, there's nothing there. Can I investigate um, where is the chanting is particularly coming from? What particular direction? You can make a perception check. What's the thing on the center of the altar, by the way? Is that a table? It's a uh, ah, uh, itong ah, uh, that's it's a parang ano, parang elevated na dais, and then there is an altar. Ito yung altar nyan. Ano alit yung lumana altar? Kanina nas nasabi mo na ba hindi? No, there's nothing on top of it. Oh, but yeah, as oh, also yeah, I'll Malakai with your investigation of 24. You notice that the altar has blood stain on it. Is it fresh? It does not look fresh. It has been dried out here for quite some time. Um, I look at not stand, not stand team. Oi. Di mo, di mo suggestion mo to. Ba't ba tupik tayo? Sino mang cut sa atin? Ari, ari. Okay, game. <laughs> the, um, game. Hellborg, Hellborg interrupts the two of them. And, uh, and others. I have been cutting myself the past. <laughs> I have been... Uh, then I, you I do it! Uh, <laughs> you have, have the known, healing potion. I have known... Uh, I have known death and destruction. Uh, let I mean, you've been offering up your blood for like. <laughs> God like you're knows doing how this for kicks, nah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Might as well, I, uh, right? <laughs> I um, I extend my my hand with the, the lightning rapier and I I squeeze it hard and one drop of crimson blood. All right. Drips to the altar. All right. You see the blood drip on top of the altar. And I alter to the chanting, room, the chanting still continues. Nothing happens. Um, how many relics now were above? Thirteen. Thirteen. And there are eight sides to this altar, right? Yes. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Um. Wala lang yun. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can I go back to the relics? Can somebody with like I'll borrow a torch along. I'll use a torch and I'll go back to the relics. I'll accompany Mal I'll accompany Malakai. Alright. Alright. Wow, wala na yung story ko. Nakakatakos na. First, first of knowledge character nga pala to. So, I... <laughs> Alright, yeah. You lie <laughs> down with Penela. I'll observe Penela. Yeah. Okay. You lie down on, the, on top of the uh, altar. You lie down on top of the altar, and uh, yeah, it's made out of stone. It's not the most comfortable bed. So, yeah, Malika, you start from the thing. right, I'll start from the left, I guess. Bim raises his eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Malika, you not Santin, what are you guys doing? Uh, so, Malika, I guess you can start from the right corner. Then I'll start from here. Okay. No, no, uh, uh, ito ka, I guess, here. And I'll start from here. And so, okay. so I, we're trying to look for something that might um, trigger something. Um, I'm in a Lex. Ilang investigation check. Yeah, I'll just allow you guys to just roll one. Just roll once. Just roll once. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Helborg, Helborg, you go over there and try to see it. And it's just yeah, like like what I said earlier. It's just a pile of. Vines and earth that are uh, on top of each other. Okay, so no, no, par um, no particular odd, odd shapes or things. It's, uh, walls or stuff. No, the walls do seem like they are uh, naturally carved, which is unlike the rest of the dungeon here. 
It's uh, yeah, the dungeon itself is man-made. This one is naturally carved. It doesn't look like it's it's man-made. And then yeah, uh, Malakai and Notstantine, you try to look for any clues that uh, might might be useful in the altar. But nah, these things they look worthless and they don't look like they hold any significant value. Hmm. Maybe any key items we could place in the altar. I mean, you can try taking, you can just try taking some stuff and then putting it back, putting it on top of the altar if you want. Alright. Ano nila? You put the crystal ball. Alright. Yeah. You put the crystal ball on top of the altar, and the chanting still continues. <laughs> I'll get all the um th these looks these all look like trinkets so I'll get um I'll get some, if I'll get, get them six all inch at once wooden it's figurine. gonna be shitty alright you take the 6 inch tall wooden figurine alright but I may trap them to activate it <laughs> remember, remember, Prini, Indiana Jones, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he only had one fucking trinket. <laughs> right, so what about the book? Figure. Malachi, what if, what if you place the book? The one no. that you got earlier? Oh, uh, that's, I want to try doing this uh, mummy, Muna. Can I put the mummy on the altar? All right, okay. yeah. You put the mummy on, on top of the altar and yeah, nothing happens. Uh, is there anything in this in the book that might give us a hint? Kung Anyone ano... who can read Gnomish? Can you read Gnomish, Malakai? I can read Halfling. <laughs> I think well, si Bim, ma alam ko yung mga kinuha language ni Paul is for small people eh. So baka may Gnomish kay Bim. Let me check. Uh, where do you see that? Uh, lower left of the screen, yung I lower left of your character sheet. Yeah, I have no mesh. Oh wait. Yeah. Hello. Read it. Read it. Read it. Okay. Can I borrow the book? Yeah. Yeah. Give it back, lang. All right. You take the book, and it is a spell book. And inside the book itself, it does not contain any, any. personal writing. It's just uh, instructions and information about spells. But yeah, you you managed to learn that the spell book contains these spells. If only any of you are a wizard, you could probably use it. Okay, we'll save it for later. Probably a wizard will come. Ay wow. What do you call that? Ano? Alam na. Alam na. What do you call Foreshadowing. 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 Ooh, ganda na yun, Jude. Maybe okay, a wizard, no. a wizard will come. I uh, maybe nothing. a wizard by the name of Sibo Sparkle Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll return the book to Malachi. Wait, wait. Akala ko, sorry. Akala ko si Low papa. Yung foreshadowing ng character niya sa salit rin siya sa group. Wizard <laughs> ng character. <laughs> yeah, yun niya. <laughs> De, pero, yeah. Next week. Pero... Hey, that's Next my week. book. <laughs> Next week. Hey, that's my book. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, what do you guys want to do next? What oh, else do you shit. want to try? Wait. It's gotta be one of these things, right? Yeah. Let's get everything that on. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna risk it? I, I mean, I mean. Wait, wait. How about we do marching or. Like, um. I guess yung mga frail in the center. And then we have Hellborg get all of them. Para pag may nag trigger at least. Save your mana as a center. Sige. Would that oh, make yeah. sense? Fine. Yeah. Alright. So, we're going to go to the reliquary. Yeah, we're, we're going to all be in the. Alright. So, as everyone leaves to the reliquary, are you going to follow them, Malakai? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are the last one to leave, and as you step off from the altar, the chanting stops. 
Oh. It's always the halfling that triggers something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're here now. I guess we can have like a more take everything. It's okay. I'll take everything. Starting from the top left. So I'll move All here. Alright. I'll move here and I'll I'll get the first I'll I'll get the first trinket. Alright. Yeah. Uh you take the first trinket, nothing happens. Alright. Take the second one. Second one, I'll take the second one. Nothing happens. And the third, third. one. Nothing happens. Fourth. Nothing happens. Fifth. Still nothing happens. Sixth. Nothing happens. Seventh. Still nothing. Eight and nine. Alright. Nothing happens. Ten. Still nothing. Eleven, twelve. Still nothing. And the last one. Alright. As you pick up the last one, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. Oh, no, one by one! <laughs> yes. yes. Wait, the positions in case anything happens, guys. <laughs> okay. okay, I'll stay here, in the rear. Yep. Alright. Are you sure that's the safest place in the room? Probably here. Because they could be coming from the walls. That's true. Yeah, I'll stay here. Wait, I'll, I'll stay my... in the altar. Wait, fuck, wait, son, mag spawn to if ever. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, know, wait lang. Yeah, I'll be in the fucking middle. Like, I'll be here. Here. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'll be here. Alright. There. Can, can uh, I... do you, are wait, you sure no. you want to be in the water? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> wait. Teka lang, apat na kayo dyan eh. I'll stay here. I'll stay here. You can stay here. Okay, I'll stay here. Alright. With my bow red. Drowsy. <laughs> all right, then I'll put I'll put all the trinkets one at a time. Paano ang bigyan ginago tayo ni Alex sa low level hydra yung lumabas? As you guys um, position yourselves, getting ready for something to happen, and you put the the relics on top of the altar one by one. Nothing happens, <laughs> <laughs> and there is no chanting. The chanting stops. Oh. However, as you put the last item. Yeah, nothing happens nga. Anong gagawin niya? <laughs> Ota. <laughs> What's right. this, Alex? Uh, it's a mound of uh, vines and earth na nakatanggil lang on top of each other. Alright. Go help, Borg. Alright. Yep. <laughs> Ang sad. <laughs> I'll extend my hand again and drop it. Alright. Again, I'm blood bank sa gaga. All right. Yeah, you do that, and finally something happens. Oh! You hear uh, you hear the voices once more rise up. This time they are saying, "Lord God, the, the Decayer, we awaken thee." And at that time, uh, the mound of uh, vines and earth begin to shake and stir. And as you see water, water uh, ripples in the water originating from the the cave in the south, it moves and it forms into this massive humanoid appearance. Oh my god. Takbo! Takbo! Everyone to roll for initiative. Oh my god, here we go! Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god, it's a fucking boss fight, let's go. And yeah. I uh, you also oh, feel the ground decay. tremble and shake a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we but minus Lord one for incoming. We awaken thee. Lord of the decay. Not sure. We awaken thee. Lord of the decay. Ah, uh, nakabase din sa dexterity eh. So if you have low dexterity, mababa yung ano. I just rolled the horrible though cuz my dexterity is nice. Oh, no. Wait, does that thing eating the child? Maybe the child is Lorgoth. Probably. 
Or maybe yeah. she yung sinacrifice kay Lord Goth It is... <clears throat> it looks plant-based. So if it's plant-based, then it's vegan. And vegan don't like uh, fire. You don't like meat. <laughs> Yeah, basically, this is what you see uh, as it forms on the cave to the south. Oh my god. Shambling. Um, oh, as an arm. Rinella, what do you want to do? Alright. He's starting to save. Yeah, he's a he's a large and quite slow. As he takes the full five radiant damage. Yeah, is there anything else you want to do? <laughs> All right, you stay there. All right, it's the end of your turn. And next is the Shambling Mound's turn. It takes a step forward. 10, 15. And knocks over the... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, is face to face with you, Helborg. He is going to slam he extends one of his arms, which is just a mass of vines that are that look very heavy, and it slams down on you. That is a 19. What's your armor class? Uh, 18. Plus one, because I have a makeshift shield. Oh, sorry. 16, 17 pala. 17. 17. Yeah, it hits. You take... Yeah, um, a 7 bludgeoning damage as the hand uh, impacts you on your chest and you yeah oh, take seven. but that's the end seven. of its turn and next is Helborg okay. um, what I'll do is I will I need to do this. Um, I will blood. I will invoke a blood curse upon the monster. I will invoke a blood curse of binding, and I right. will amplify it. All right. Uh, anong save gagawin ko dun? Uh, strength saving throw. All right. Pag, uh, pag, uh, unsuccessful. Uh, unsuccess the first So I will take the Anamuna. I'll, I'll take the. Amplify curse one minute. Regardless of size, so that's fine. Here. Alright. So, yeah, you you cast your blood curse. And uh, as you. You amplify it, no? Well, I, do, I don't think I need to. Because. Right. Um, what do you call that? The curse creature can make another strength. So, yeah, yeah. I, I don't need to. I don't need to amplify it. All right. So yeah, you cast your blood curse, blood blood curse, blood curse, and uh, as uh, you see this uh, shadowy mass begins to wrap itself around the shambling mound. It wraps around, but he just breaks free out of it. You see him uh, waving out his hand and. Your blood curse does not take effect. Oh no. Okay, if that's the case, uh, I have another action ba, no? Or wala na? Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's a bonus action yung blood curse man. Okay, so yeah. Then I'll just strike it with, uh, I'll strike it with my rapier. Alright, so yeah. Make an attack roll. Second. Rolling with my rapier. No, 
course, man. Wala pa. 14 misses, unfortunately. Oh no. As you try to stab it with your rapier. You still have movement if you want. Uh, uh, pero may attack of opportunity siya, no? Yes. Um, Lin, I need your tanking. I, I, I cannot do it on my own, Captain. Uh, I'll, I'll stand my ground. Alright. You can't. You can. Or you but can yeah. Forward. You can move forward. But... Bim, it's your turn. At this point, I would like to remind you guys that you don't have to kill everything you find. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. running away is the uh, the best choice. Bro. The best choice. I agree. Who's gonna stay by behind and toast the wheel? Who's the fastest? You. You. It would be you. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh Yeah. I think it's actually parang hindi siya kasha either way. Hindi siya kasha. Yeah. Either way. Actually either way hindi siya kasha. Tapo na tayo. And let's get all the trinkets with us pala. Or you wanna yeah. to Yeah, you can get it because you can you get it as an action and then move on. Yeah. Like, shove everything in the bag and just run. Yeah, we yeah. run. Yeah, we can, like... Once we run, some of us are still in range. What's the hit points of the boss? I you don't, don't you, know. You, in the, the, in the yeah, we don't know. Yeah. Not the video but, game. Yeah. Bim, what do you want to do? <laughs> it's your turn now. Okay, I'll get into position. You so, can, uh, no, you can bow it, tapos you can move after. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, is there like a special move? Like from uh, the character? You can... Uh, ang features ng... Ranger is mostly on exploration eh. Pero... Hindi okay, ko alam so... pa ano yung ni Paul Jen, eh. Possibly, you can try. Yeah, but I don't think the lightning generated sword would emanate strong, strong power to electrocute the thing. It's too huge. 22. 22 hits, roll for damage. Oh, 15. Right, yeah. You take aim with your arrow, arrow, and shoot it from a distance. And you, yeah, you see your arrow sticking out of the creature, um, sticking out of some of the vines. But yeah, it seems like it it dealt a nice amount of damage. But yeah, you still have movement if you want. Okay, you can uh, kill it. <laughs> oh, it dealt a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Chunk, 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 chunk of it. Yeah. Okay, probably. Could probably kill it. So I, mean, I came from here, right? Yeah. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we. Hope. Oh, I don't want to kill it. I yeah, I'll, posi can. I'll position here just in case. All right. All right. There. Malakai. Up <laughs> to you. Your turn now. I'm just gonna run away, guys. I'm not gonna stay here and fight, talaga. And then, Siguro, just to help, I'm gonna shoot an arrow at it. Alright. Make an attack roll. That hits. Roll for damage with sneak attack. Eight. Not bad. Yeah, you sneak in uh, an arrow using your short bow. And it flies towards the shambling mound. But, yeah. It's still standing. Still standing strong. 
Okay. Um, bonus action. Uh, um, I'm gonna try to hide na lang under all right. Bim. Alright, alright. Alright, I can't move anymore. So I'm just gonna stay there na lang. Sorry. No way. Alright. Not Stantine. What do you want to do? I will... Uh, I will move 5, 10, 15. Wait, ano range ng Eldritch Blast ko ngayon? 16, no? 120 yata. Okay. So I will move 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> Ang cheesy na itong diagonal movement. Yes. So, Pero okay lang. Sige lang. <laughs> 1, 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 feet of movement. Then I charge my Eldritch Blast. Alright. Make an attack roll. Um, ah, wait. Uh, the Shambling Mound is gonna make an unfortunate attack against you. Okay. Huh? I was in range? Yes. Yeah, you were okay. in range. Sure. Go ahead. That is a 14. What's your and... armor? Okay, yeah, that hits. As you run away, the Shambling Mound strikes you at your back for 12 bludgeoning damage. My lord. Okay. But yeah, you managed to get away from it. Okay, now I charge my Eldritch Blast. Alright. Wait. Now I'm going to Hello, no, hello. Not standing. That five, was... five out of seventeen. Character sheet. But now, wait. But bumalik yung ano? Ion core. Edge blast. Seventeen hits. Roll for damage. Right. You shoot your Eldritch Blast at it, and you see chunks of uh, small bits of uh, splinters of vine uh, fly away as your Eldritch blast, blast hit the creature. And Prinella, we go to you. Your wounds is better, but you need to be in melee range. Because touch ang healing word. I in cure wounds, hey. pala. You're, You're in melee range, range of Hellbird, naman. Alright. You recover 7 hit points, Hellborn. Nice, thank you. Alright. Lin, I, I remind 30, you, you, can you, 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 can, you can take his damage. <laughs> You're a tank, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. you, can, you can actually tank him. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. Okay. I by the way, ito ledge to ha. Etong ano. It's about 4 feet in height. Yeah. Sa taas dapat. 6 styles bali. Ika pa dito. So All right. Next is the Shambling Mount's turn. Of course, since you are left alone here, Helborg, he is going to attack you. That is the 25. Cry, yeah. Cowards! <laughs> 25. And yeah, you you take 13 points of damage. Oh my god! Oh my god! One hit point. You still have one hit point. You take 13 points of damage, bludgeoning damage. This is man, you're. This is P4. This is P4S all over again. <laughs> You're gonna it's have engaged. the healing potion and then move. Yeah. But yeah, that's the end of its turn. It's now your turn again, Helborg. You so, can yeah. use an action to disengage, so he yeah. won't he, is, he won't be able to take uh, an attack of opportunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll disengage. I'll use that. I'll, I'll disengage and move away. All right. I'll move here. I should be ready to. All right. Bim. Bow and move. Bow and move. 
do do we know uh, how many uh, yams can the boss travel? We don't know. Uh, you, yet. You're not what sure. we know is that he was able to travel from here to there. That was technically. Yeah, you see him move 15, 15? 15 feet at least in yeah. one turn. But it does look massive and looks kind of slow. I mean, is it important that we need to close the door? No, not really. Di siya kasha. Di siya kasha. Or he's made of vines, huh? He might, he might be able to like shimmy his way through. That's true. You guys provoke a god. <laughs> is it a god? No. Yeah, attack. Try to kite. Try to kite. Yeah. It'll probably kite. So since we have a lot of movement, I'll just wait for everyone else to escape. I'll go here the furthest, so just in case, and then I'll use a sort a bow. All right. Make an attack. Oh. That hits. Roll for damage. Prefer the enemy pain. Ten. Ten. Alright, yeah, you shoot another another arrow and it hits him. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's the end of your turn? Yeah. Malakai. Sorry, um, I'm gonna just run away. Um, right. uh, I'm gonna call Bim a fool for trying to stay behind, you know? Heroes <laughs> don't, you know, walang heroes dito. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yep. <laughs> and then he exits. <laughs> uh, what? Whiles? What's he called? That whiles Malaka is moving to me. Can I grab him and just put him in front of me? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Medyo mahirap yun eh. Oh yeah. Strength oh, contest for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I couldn't catch him. So it's, okay. uh, yeah, you can make an athletics check if you want, and then uh, Malaka can roll for athletics <laughs> or acrobatics. Okay. But it's gonna be, it's gonna take your reaction, Helborg. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. It was just a suggestion. I won't do it. Ah, okay, okay. You won't do it. Yeah, I won't do it. No need to. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> <laughs> Baba ng roll nyo. <laughs> yeah, wait, I, 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 I would be a dick. I would be a dick ah, to uh, right, roll while right. seeing, seeing the roll. <laughs> but yeah, Malakai, uh, what else do you want to do? You just move. You've only moved yet, only. Yeah, that's it. Uh, then I, I, uh, yell at Helberg. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Then I utter, like, you should, you could have shot an arrow, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so, uh, not Santin. I charge my Eldritch Blast. Alright. Where is... Wala na naman. 16 hits, roll for damage. Ang ina 7 na naman. Another 7. Alright. Um, movement? 1... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, wait, I see in range, 5, 10, 15, 30. Okay, All right. I'm good. Renella. All right. Okay. <laughs> nakalagay ba dyan kung action ba or bonus act? I think nakalagay dapat dyan. Bonus action? Yeah, as the bonus action. Yeah. So you still have an action. You can use it to cast the spell or dash. Okay. Alright. 
Uh, yung sa attack and spell casting yung i-click mo. Again, six. Yep. Six hit points. Oh, look. I'm the nearest person. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so next is the Shambling Mound again. The Shambling Mound, seeing that Bim is the last one inside the chamber. Wait, that's far. But yan? He is going to creep over the altar, knocking over the altar itself. Oh my god. And Bim. <laughs> oh my god. One must die. <laughs> one must die. <laughs> One must die. Alright. Oh <laughs> it's going to attack you with a slam. That is a 13. What's your armor class? Um. Oh, I think it doesn't hit. Wait. Mine Four, 14 is 14. Uh, 14, yeah. It, it misses. It misses. Nice. Yeah. And yeah, it's gonna end his turn right there. I'll slap it. I'm kidding. Yeah. Hellborn. <laughs> so, wait. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, see Not yet, not yet. Okay. See Helberg muna, see Helberg. One, two, three. Alright. So I'll, I'll, I'll down, uh, I'll use, uh, the healing potion. Okay. Kita ba siya if I'm here? Wait lang, may pick lang ako. Sige. Okay. Kita. Okay. One, two, three. Ah, yeah, kita ko siya siya from there. Pero sige, ang yeah. gagawin ko. Uh, yeah, what are you gonna do, Helberg? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna down uh, uh, a healing potion. Alright. Roll two D four plus two. Two D four plus two. Plus two. And that's an action. Yeah, you recover eight hit points. And yeah, you still have movement and bonus action. I'll move here. And no, don't move, don't move there! Don't move there! Don't move there! No, no, stay there, stay there. Um, yeah, I think that's that. Bonus action, what can I do? Pa? Wala na, eh, no? I'll just, just stay there. No. Yeah. Alright, uh, next, uh, Bim. <coughs> uh, I'll just run. Alright, are you going to take the disengage action? If you disengage, the you can move away without provoking attacks of opportunity. Because there is a thing here in the D and D that if you just run away while you're engaged in melee combat, the the target can he can make an attack of opportunity as you turn his back towards him. So uh, you can use an action to disengage, meaning that you won't get you won't provoke attacks of opportunity as you run away. Yeah, I'll use disengage. Where do right. I see that? Yeah, it's okay. Sabihin mo lang sa akin. And then what do you want to do? And, uh... Run! Here. Alright. Wait, you can't... I uh, know, you can't be in the same tile as another person. Yeah, you oh, can't okay. You can't end your turn on the same tile of another person. Wait. How do I guard again? Uh, one tile five. is five. five feet. So, yeah, you can move up to 35. One... 25. I'm gonna. Is it okay here? I'm gonna block you guys though. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. That's scary. I think. <laughs> I think the bus will be able to reach me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Malakai. <clears throat> um. So as an action, I'm just gonna try to grapple them both out, the two tall people. Mm -hmm. Bayan. Just and yeah. Uh, it'll use my movement range, but to try to drag them out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Alright. I don't want to hero 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 because I'm not going to die. Yeah. Someone also stay and drag me. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use both their movement, uh, all my movement to drag. Alright. At least uh, just one, just one, I know, just one cell mm -hmm. back. I think that, that's the most my movement can do. Si yeah, Bim yeah. na, si Bim na. Si Bim lang, sige, si Bim. 
Sige. So, yeah, with your movement, I would say you can only drag Bim up to only here. That's fine. Sige, sige. Okay na yun. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Alright, so, uh, that's it. Not Santin. I move here. Charge my Eldritch Blast. Alright. Make an attack roll. Don't worry, this is a smart move. <laughs> <laughs> I it's hope. a pro gamer move. I hope. <laughs> it's a meta gamer move. <laughs> Wait. Eldritch Blast. Pen unfortunately misses. Okay, then I move back here. It's a mini lang. Pro gamer move right there. <laughs> yeah, still safe though. <laughs> Penela, what do you want to do? All right. You recover nine hit points, not seventeen. Okay. Thank you. All right. Next is the shambling mound's turn. The shambling mound is gonna give chase. And uh, yeah, it's standing in front of uh, in front of you, Helborg. As it extends its hand. Seriously? Ah, <laughs> uh, wait, no. He's gonna try to squeeze himself in first. Oh, he can do that. Nope, he fails. He, yeah, he tries to squeeze himself between the, the tiny space and he tries to reach out with his vines, but it does not reach you, Hellborg. Luckily. Yeah. We can but yeah, snipe him from here. Hellborg, what do you want to do? Okay. Alright, okay. Any bows? Yes, I have, I have bows, yes. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll, I have a flask of oil again. I will throw it at the... I, I will, I will... There's water downstairs, there's water downstairs. Yeah. There's water. Yeah, yeah that's water. There's water. He's standing on water. Can I, can I just, can I use the vial and just splash it in his, in his body or in his person? Yeah, you can. So I'll, I'll splash, I'll just splash the flask of oil. Um, not in the floor of the monster, but in the monster itself. All right. Coating the vines with oily substance. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'll get, I'll get, um, I'll get my torch and throw it, throw it at the, throw it at the monster. All right. Yeah, you throw it and the, the oil catches fire, but the shambling mound does not react to the fire. Alright, Bim. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll just disengage. Do, do we have like a. You don't need to disengage, I will have a submit. You're not within oh, melee range, naman, so you don't have to disengage. Uh, you can true. snipe. You can snipe, yeah. Can but snipe. do I have limited amount of arrows? Yes. Uh, yeah. Know? Yeah. I'll just save it. Alright. Uh, uh, you I'll have just... enough arrows, I think. Parang you, you start with 30 at a 30 or 20. Uh, does it replenish when you rest? No. Uh, no. No. But there's like, depending on the DM, there's a lot of arrows around. Okay, then, yeah, I'll try my luck. I'll use longbow. Oh, that's critical. <clears throat> nice. Roll for damage, that hits. Seven plus fourteen. All right. Yeah, you you pull back on your arrow as everyone is uh, hiding behind this, uh, using the walkway, the the narrow the narrow hallway to your advantage, and you let shoot an arrow, and you see the the creature uh, kind of reel back in pain for a bit, nice. but it's still standing. 
and it's still trying to squeeze in squeeze in your area okay uh and then i'll end my move by move movement to, move me towards here to give space for others all right they want to do something yeah. all right all right next is malakai are we gonna try to kill it from here like oh, yeah, go back. yeah we can <laughs> okay so yeah um, but from range, lang, of course. Underhand, underhand tactics. Eh, okay. so, I'm gonna try to, bonus action. I'm gonna try to hide. Muna. Alright. Nice. And then, if you'll allow right. me, I'll attack with advantage using yeah. my short bow. Okay. Yeah, you can. You can. Taking advantage of the chaos that is going on. That hits a total of twelve. Nice. So, magkik lang, magkik ako. Then, ano? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, then I'll go back. All right. I end my turn. All right. Not seventeen. Okay. I charge my ultimate blast. Of course. Oh wait, no, no, wait, wait. <laughs> Should I hex this thing? Yeah. yeah. Hex is a bonus action, by the way. Wait, I have bonus action. Okay. Yes. Hex is a bonus action spell. Who has a good spell that you don't want to... You don't want the boss to... Saving through? Meron ba? Si Prinella ba? Yung yeah, ano yan. Yeah. Sacred Flame ni Prinella. Okay. Sacred Flame Dexterity. Yeah. So, as a bonus action, I will cast my... I will cast my hex. Alright, so you see. And ano ano yung iya ano mo? Ihe hex mong ability niya? Dexterity. Um, with the one for Penella. Dexterity yung ano, yung sacred flame. Okay, yeah, dexterity. Alright. So yeah, and that's your bonus action, you still have an action. Alright. Then I charge my Eldritch Blast. Alright, make an attack roll. Ooh! Oh, tang in. <laughs> and that's a natural and that one. one. Well, that's a natural walang, one. I know, walang in, I know, walang in range. <laughs> hmm, that's why I'm good. Hmm, alright. Yeah, you you take your aim and sh Eldritch Blast, but uh, yeah, you're feeling overconfident. You you miss aim your shot, and it actually hits the wall around the hallway, and uh, you see, yeah, it 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 knocks off a bits of stone and wall parts, <laughs> and it looks like the Shambling Mound could possibly use this to his advantage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I move here. <laughs> All right. So that's just one bar <laughs> naman. May, may bar pa naman isa. It's like dalawa pang, dalawang grids and dalawang boxes. Yeah. Wait for me to crit miss again. <laughs> dalawa na sa... Prinella. Alright, it now has disadvantage. So yeah, roll for your sacred flame. That is a four, so your spell will hit. Too radiant. And yeah. Okay. Did Next you attack? The shambling mound. <laughs> the, shambling mound <laughs> the shambling mound is again going to try to squeeze through the space. And he does so. Thanks to the help from Notstantin. But his movement uh, can only take him this far to the entrance of the hallway. And uh, he, co he couldn't see very well, but he begins thrashing about. And I would, I would say this one goes to Bim. But okay. this will be at disadvantage because he cannot see very well. That's another. That's a 12. Uh, yeah, it misses. You okay. just see the, the, the hand of Chambly Mound. Uh, thrashing about in the entrance of the hallway and it 
almost hits you, Bim, but you manage to duck just in time, and it slams against the wall. But yeah, you're lucky that you uh, you it missed. Helborg, it's up to you. It's clear for you guys you that this, this shambling mount can uh, can squeeze through space that you guys can walk on. I mean, it can squeeze through five feet of space. Yeah, five feet. So from five feet, we can actually we can actually go to the we can go to the stairs and try to snipe it from there. So what I'll do? It's still five feet. Yeah, napansin nyo lang. Yeah, you guys realize that it's taken him quite an effort to squeeze through the space. Uh, may difficulty check siya, kasi malaki siya. Just, you know, so as long as just don't hit the wall, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'll move behind Prinella here. Just here. So I still have visuals on the, on the monster. So as a bonus action, I will invoke my Crimson Rite. Um, as I sheath my rapier, I take out the hand hand crossbow. All right. And I and I uh, I prick the tip of the bolt. Mm -hmm. And I and I uh, I uh, I invoke the Rite of Lightning. So um, I'll take D4 damage slash. One damage. One damage. Nice. All right. So my hand crossbow is now um, gleaming with lightning energy, mm -hmm. and I aim. I slowly aim the hand crossbow at the at the monster. And I aim All right. Make an attack roll. Using the hand crossbow. Eighteen hits. Roll for damage. All right. Yeah, you shoot with your lightning crossbow. As the bolt flies through the air, you see it crackle with uh, with lightning energy, and it hits the shambling mound. It takes the four piercing damage, but it absorbs the lightning damage. And uh, yeah, you see parts of the vine beginning to regrow. As lightning courses through them, oh, so what? in effect, it takes no damage because you dealt four four piercing, and it absorbs four lightning. Oh my God! Okay. All right. So yeah, what else do you want to do, Hellbird? Um, I, I drop my crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I drop my crossbow and um. I can see the crossbow, the, the lightning from my crossbow dissipates. Yeah, it fades. Alright. So, Bim. Can I pick it up again? <laughs> okay, All right. uh, before I move, I'll strike the uh, the appendages. Alright. With uh, what? The boss with a silver sword. Short sword, alright. Okay. So... 12 misses, unfortunately. That. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm to run. <laughs> All right. It's stuck. How did it miss? <laughs> no sense. It's going oh, to no make. Wall, eh? It's gonna make an opportunity attack against you, but this is at disadvantage. That is an eight, so that misses. That you managed to go away just in time. Nice. Malakai. I'm going to first uh, disengage as a bonus action. Okay. And I am going to, it's an action, run. Alright. <clears throat> right, then. And as movement, I will run again. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, you run up the stairs, uh, brushing past your teammates. And you are on the upper part of the dungeon. <laughs> Not standing. <laughs> <laughs> I will charge my Eldritch Blast first. Okay. Try not to hit the wall, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I shall try. 
<laughs> 17 nice. hits, rougher damage. Okay. Nice. What the? 5 force, not bad. And then I have additional 1d6. Yeah. Of uh, pwede mo, you can just click yung hex dun sa attacks and spell casting. Mo. It will oh, roll okay. automatically. D6 yun eh. Oh, six. Nice. You deal an additional six necrotic damage. Oops. Necrotic. Ah, that is resistant. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, movement. Run, so man. 11. Run. Run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this as, is you, as you go there, uh, you can see Malakai is already upstairs. Up on on the on the top flight of the stairs. <laughs> As a bonus Lana. action, can I just <laughs> fucking wave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come back here, you coward! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm like, how how's the view up there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Disadvantage. Yeah. It takes six radiant damage. And yeah, as your spell works on the You see you see him kind of weaken a bit. Nice. There you go. And yeah. It seems what you guys are doing are kind of effective. <laughs> Pero yeah. <laughs> ah yeah, movement, you still have movement. Alright. Our next is the Shambling Monster, so it's gonna use his... Yeah, he's going to go over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, he managed to slip past the passageway. And, uh, Bim, he is going to attack you. That is a 22. Oh, that You one. take... You take 11 points of damage. 11 yeah. bludgeoning damage. How do I edit that? Yung sa current hit points mo. Pwede mo rin i-click yung token mo. And kung kinlik mo, makikita mo yung green circle. That's your hit points. Pwede mo i-type minus 11. I-click mo muna, tas minus 11. Tas enter. And it will automatically compute it. Alright. 7. Yeah. That's the end of the Shambling Mount's turn. Hellborg. Yeah, I'll, I'll charge. By the way, when I say weak kanina, you've only dropped him to half his hit points, huh? Yeah, yun nga eh. Okay. So, I'll... Yun nga eh. Yun yeah. This is enough. See, Bim can disengage. I later. Oh, tama pa. It's okay. Yeah. So, what I'll do, I'll... I'll fire my... I'll fire my hand crossbow at the... At the, at the enemy. Alright, make an attack run. Nine, unfortunately, misses. And I'll disengage. So that there will be more people. There, there's more space. I... Yeah, I'll move here. So... 10, 15. Alright. Next is Bim. I will disengage, definitely. <laughs> Alright. Yes, good idea, buddy. Wait. Alright. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, you can Seven. get up to the top flight of the stairs. I, I can't wait. see though. What happened? Oops, wait long. Yeah, nandito ko na sa, ano, kay Malak, right? <coughs> okay, nice. Alright, Malakai. He's, on He's the already floor upstairs. Beside. Yeah. <laughs> are, are we really gonna try to fight this guy? He's at half.
Yeah, he can squeeze through walls. Yeah, so through find... like small um, places. Bonus action, I'll hide. Okay. Yeah. Baba ako slide. Para lang makita ko siya. Okay. Wag wag talo ng ibalik sa kabilang map. Can you uh, will you say can you say na nakikita ko na siya if I move five feet more down? No. Not yet. Not yet. Sige, I'll move five feet down. Okay. Sa next map. You would end up around here sa ibabaw ni Hellboard. Sa ilalim okay. ni Hellboard game. Eh. Okay. Sige lang. I'll, I, I'm under Hellboard lang. And then I'll, I'll attack with advantage. Ah no, you still cannot see it. Yeah, hindi mo na hindi. Oh. It's, 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 a, it's a sharp corner. Yeah, you still need to make a left. You need to make, yeah. Dapat ka na sa ilalim ka ni Nostan din para makita. Ito ito. Can I see it now? Can I see him now? Yeah. Okay, I'll attack yeah, yeah, with advantage. Alright. <laughs> 17 hits, roll for damage, 12. Okay, not bad. Alright. Yeah, you still have 5, 10, 15, 25 feet of movement. Uh, I'll just move back. Alright. Move back 5 feet. Yep, yep. yep. Not sentin. Uh, does this vision count for me to be able to attack him? Uh, I would say no. Okay, so I move forward a bit first, mm -hmm. and right. I charge my elders fast. All right. Twenty hits. Uh, roll your damage, and also your hex. Roll Ooh, D6 10. ko na lang Lex para mas Yeah, sige. 11 total. Eh, yeah, not bad. You still did a uh, uh, chunky bit of damage to it. 11 is not bad. Okay, then I move. You still have 25 feet. Yeah. 25. 5, 10. Oops. Yeah. So I guess this should work. Can you guys keep uh, your almost? I'll pass my neck. What happened? I'll, I'll buy you. I'll buy you as well. Okay. Oto ko maain ka ulit, kakain mo lang. It's my uh, breakfast and uh, lunch. Uh. <laughs> Actually, I want iced tea from Army Navy. Tonga. Yeah, I just finished my. Ay. I told order then. Actually, it's good. I enjoy it. Diba? I you feel because of veins. <laughs> 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 it's a wizard. What are the tunes? Is there like a... Uh, dami. Thing? Sobrang dami. Ah, okay. Tapos, ano lang, yung mga class na yun, parang base classes lang sila. Then they can like, branch out to like, specific builds. Ay, like, kunwari yung kay Paul, napilitan siya mag-melee na ranger. Pero di ba ranger, parang kala mo it's just a ranged class. Pero, yun, it has a melee build. Yung kay Lin din, naka-melee build din. Na mage. Mm, na ano, cleric. Uh, it starts off like as a healer lang, pero once they get to level 2, they get to have traits na parang ano, medyo tanky. So if we kill this boss, we'll level up tayo? I think so. Kasi yung, there are different levelings in D&D. Yung iba, 
like depending on the DM, like you could put uh, yung based on XP, like mobs will give experience, like the usual. Yung iba naman, merong ano, milestone based. So, depende kung nakaroon ng major battle or nakaroon ng major boss fight, that's a leveling point for the, ano, depende kung nasan sa story, parang ka na. Ah, okay. Hello. Right. Yo. Nagbayo lang daw sila Lex nung nadisig. Okay. Sige, sige. Nadig mo na kami, Lex? Lex, can't, can't hear you, buddy. Ah, nakamute. Ah, okay. Nagutom ako bigla. Is that, is that ako na uhaw kasi parang nakalimutan kong mag-order ng drink with my dinner kanina. Bakit? Okay, Mag-order ka, burrito. Thank you, hello. Thank you, thank you buddy. <laughs> I know, go, go order na ako, burrito, man. Breakfast burrito steak. Best. Anyways. Tara, Lin, order tayo. Kain tayo tayo. Tara, fuck. Si Nagre-recon yata si Alex. Hello, nasa, ba- nasa baba lang na unit ko yung Army Navy na kakainis. Bibili na na ba ako? Hmm? Army Navy Park. Okay, I'm ordering like iced tea lang. Kaya ko nga meron kay Don PJ. Malapit siya. Sige, sige. Kaya PJ. PJ, libre kita. Pakita mo mukha mo. Hindi ko pa siya nakita ever. Hindi ko pa siya nakita ever. Ni kasi yes. ni pa ako camera ready. I wanna sige fine. Oh, <laughs> pa-flashan ka pa ba, pare? Hi Steve. Hi Steve. Em yung laptop ko kasi yung may webcam and it's not facing the right way. Ano ba? Kita ng clutter sa akin. Eh. Shit, Medyo... wala nang 940 ml yung Army Navy sa amin ngayon. Fuck. Medyo yeah, ka-bosses ko nga si PJ. Oh, Mer. Hindi na kayo siya. What's up, buddy? Hi, Mer. What's up? Yeah. Hello. Wala akong kami ngayon. <laughs> I need to buy one. Eventually. Um, um, oh, wait lang. Refresh ko lang. Roll 20. Ba't wala nang Pero, one letter basta may na libre. army naving ngayon sa amin? Kagawin ko yung lahat. Anong pwede? PF. Si PJ on si PJ. Si PJ ba yun? Kaya itang, sino yun? Sino nagsabi yung si PJ yun? PJ yung sabi si PJ yun was si PJ yun? Si PJ ba yun? Magkapalit na, magkalapit rin yung ano, nickname namin. EJ ako sa ano eh, sa amin. Elmer John. So, uh, EJ okay. yung nickname ko. Ucha yung bosses na talaga yung kalapit. Okay. Makakambal kita ha. Ikaw ba yan nilito? <laughs> Ay, kambal kasi talaga ako. Oh, Ay, really? Ay, Ay talaga? Oo. Oh, oh. Ikaw ba yan? Magkabotas rin ba kayo? Yes. Tatlo na tayo nun. Ano <laughs> <laughs> yan? A brother from another mother, ha? <laughs> Alright. Have you guys seen that documentary ba on Netflix na triplet sila tapos pinaghiwalay-hiwalay sila? Tapos nagla nakita-kita sila eventually. Wow. Pero it was like way deeper kasi parang... It was like experimentation and shit. That's bad. Yeah. Rabi yeah. naman yung kawawa naman sila. Mm. Parang yung 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 series that starts with like really heartwarming na parang, oi nakita kita sila na ista. Sig lang when they delve deeper kung paano sila nakaya wala. There was a uh, medical stuff involved. Documentary. Yeah? No, no, sorry, not medical stuff. It was um experimentation. It was psychological experiment. Psychological. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Grabe. Alright, saan na ba tayo? Prinella? You are not in melee range. You are not? You can get into melee range if you want. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> Alright. Yan yung unang tumakbo yun. Yeah, he fails. He takes 5 radiant damage. Alright, so and you move away. 
Next is the Shambling Mound's turn. The Shambling Mound is gonna continue and give Chief 10 feet. And he begins. Yeah, he begins. He's gonna use his action to dash and get into melee range with you, Malakai, as he tries as he tries to squeeze himself along the stairway. But yeah, he cannot attack you. Nice. Job, buddy. As of the moment. Hellboard. Okay. I, I can see him from here, no? Like just like a sliver. From here. Just a is Malakai tiny within bit. melee range right now? Of the Malakai list? is within melee range right now. Okay, disengage. Hellborg, from where you are, you cannot see because there's a sharp corner at the bottom of the stairs. So, can, I'll just move forward a little bit. You're getting you into melee range. Huh? But you are going to uh, get into range. melee range in order to see it. And the detriment niya? Because I think I can... I'll try to bind him again. And I'll try to amplify the curve. Dexterity yung hinex ni Nostantin. Ah, pero strength kasi. Strength saving throw ang kailangan niya eh. Yep. He's pretty strong eh. Kaya I don't... He's a large guy so... Yeah, he's very strong. Yeah, yun nga eh. So... It won't be... Won't be useful. Sige. So what I'll do, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll just step back. I'll just stand my ground, na lang siguro. Okay. I can't I can't do anything because if I move here, my ma melee range up. Pero sayang. Yun nga eh. Sige, sige. I'll, I'll, dis I'll just move, ano? I'll just move, um, what you call that? I'll just move a little bit for a, a little bit back mula, to give, ano, to give space right. uh, to the people okay. going back. So, and... di na kita ilipat sa kabilang, ano, sa upstairs map? Yeah, no need. Okay. Need if I have other stuff I can use. Well, you can't see the creature from here, so... Yeah, it's okay. Wala. Wala rin ako magagawa. Alright, I'm done. Alright. Bim! You are on top of the flight of stairs. What are you gonna do? I don't have any um, spot there to uh, go to, right? Yeah, yeah you problem. won't be able to attack. I'll just probably wait here for the rest while I read it king from the last uh, attack. <laughs> Alright. I'll eat my burrito. Alright, Malakai. Oh, it's your fault. I'm ordering now. It's getting delivered. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try and hit and run. Alright. First uh, first thing I need to ask Muna. Uh, Rain, hanggang kailan yung offer Muna Libre if I show my face? <laughs> and second, um, uh, I'm gonna try to attack it. I'm gonna save my action then for disengage later. Okay, okay. With regard to non DD stuff, you can use neutral grounds, diba? For sure. Pretty sure. Some, sometimes. Oh, uh, makita tayo sa neutral grounds, dokata libre. Sige, 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 perfect. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't know if I'm going to I'm going to attack this guy muna no hiding right. for now mm -hmm. with yeah. my dagger uh, i drop my bow you know? i can't attack it with both my hands occupied so i drop my bow as a reaction and attack with my rapier so rapier all right that's a crit that's a crit since my kasama ako this is going to be sneak attack as well 
Yes. Oof, wow. Right. Wow. What's that? Uh, 27? 27. I think the right. boss is one quarter less right now. <laughs> yeah, with, uh, with the 27 point of damage from Malakai. Yeah. How, how, how do you want to do this, Malakai? Oh, nice! <laughs> Wrecked! From the guy who just ran away, and then he came back. He's already in the last yeah. hit! <laughs> Waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Oh. Exactly. Oh, I, 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 am, I am a rogue, I'm an opportunist. Perito, say it. <laughs> so, I was about, I was running away, you know, with an inch of my life and an inch of my height. Mm. Then I heard, you know, the, the, the screams or the struggle from downstairs. So, I thought, shit, tangina. So, I thought, why are you tangina? Because why are you here? So, you know, with a, <laughs> with, with a surge of heroism and, um, you know, bravery. I leap from I leap bounds from the staircase, and um, alam mo yung I tumble in the air that I land a dagger sa ano sa kanya. Ah yeah yeah. Ayun. Nice. And nice. then, you know, I emerge from the thicket of this shambling mound. Diba? Yeah, as you as you do that, as you bury your rapier on the center of the shambling mound, leaping forward into it. You you manage to strike what you feel is the core of this creature as you feel you hit something very very solid but you feel your rapier pierce through it and as as you fall with the creature the the creature just goes limp and just go limp and covers you with the vines as you fall down along with it and at the bottom of the stairs yeah everything is quiet and as you guys try to peek through what's going on downstairs you just see this mass of uh, yeah vines and other earthly things and it begins to move once more but as it moves you just see malakai emerge from the vines wow. with this rapier sticking onto the creature creature nice nice yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we won. As you do that, the the chanting suddenly stops once more. Yay. And yeah, it's quiet. Roll for loop. Sunugin yun yan. Sunugin yun yan tis lang. Yeah. Sige, we'll we'll burn the vines. I'll burn the vines. All right. So it doesn't have any chance to um, to animate again. All right, and then what else are you guys uh, want? What do you guys want to do? Can we investigate the vines? If may nakatangle na something important. The the body in the vines. Yeah, may body. Yeah, you can, can. You can. Graphic. Uh, yeah, you. Uh, yeah, well, actually, it's just a. Yun drawing then it's not accurate to what you see right now, but oh, okay. yeah, you can just imagine. Wala wala yung body then. It's just a, amount of uh, vines and. Uh, Mostly plant things, mushrooms and the other, other things. But yeah, you try to search for it. You try to search if there's anything. Under under at all, but there's nothing. Well, it's just I an anime. I wanna go of, back uh, to yeah, Let's go back to the to the where pile. he was actually before. Yeah, yeah. agreed. I'll go and there. And search for things here. B before we do that, um, what are we supposed to do here again? We just stumbled here. Uh, the ultimate, the ultimate goal, the ultimate goal of of the this 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 instance here. Yeah. After we're after we're done searching here, we can go back to Rose and Thorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, we killed the monster. Okay. Yeah. At the monster. Possibly. We don't know yet. I hope so. <laughs> I, I fucking hope so too. <laughs> Lex, dun ba sa pinanggalingan ng monster? Um, nandito mm, yeah. na kami. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you try to look around and there is nothing there. Oh, wala. Okay. Then... Yeah. Okay. There's okay. nothing important of value here. Okay. But yeah, the chanting has gone silent. What do you guys want to do now? 
Yeah, let's go back I... up. Go back what up. A... Yeah, let's go back up to Rosenthorn. Alright. Sige, sige. So, <clears throat> yeah, you take the moment to retrace your steps and uh, going through the uh, the dungeon of the this house. And you arrive at the the spiraling staircase that leads up to the attic of the house. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Thank you. Oy. I didn't know D&D had uh, auto, ano yun? Yung auto, auto movement going to the town. Fast travel. Yeah, fast travel. Fast travel, there you go. <laughs> we fast traveled it. Yeah, wala eh. Nagkukwentuhan lang naman tayo dito, so, yeah. Uh, okay. Asa na kayo? Are you guys here? Yep. So yeah, you guys uh, managed to get back up the stairs. And yeah, uh, you go back to the, the dust-covered attic of the house. And you don't notice anything change yet. So yeah, what do you guys want to do? Are you guys gonna head back to Rose and Thorne's room? Yes. Yes, yes, we are. Right. Here, here. Right. Okay, so yeah, you we, head back we... into the room and yeah, everything is is still where you left it. The the skeletal remains are still in the middle of the room. The toy chest is also there and the dollhouse is also there. Now the the spirits of Rose and Thorn does not seem to be here as of the moment. I wait, wait, wait! Don't they'll be ang- they'll get angry. Can can someone? Uh, I I, I guess I I tried to call out first yeah. for Rosenthal. Call out, yeah, tapas. Try to call out. All right, yeah. You so call the out kids. their names. Yeah, you do that. You call that call out their uh, their names, and uh, nothing happens. Then there's no touch the fucking chest. <laughs> Yeah. You you touch you touch the toy chest, and yeah, uh, you begin to as you open it, it uh, it you can see there there is a lot of toys that are kept here. Most of them are wooden figurines. Uh, some of them are uh, dolls uh, that lo- doesn't look like the highest quality of dolls. Some of them look like just parang yung ano yung manika ni Thorn. Mm. Yung parang stuff stuff tana. tag dun? Yeah, stuff na na doll. Yeah, most mostly mostly like that. And uh, yeah, a bunch of wooden figurines, wooden horses, and you can see there are some. Ano ba talaga dito? Ma, may mga wagon din na made out of wood, some wheels. But yeah, there's nothing. Value. It's just toys. But uh, yeah, you do notice yung mga wooden toys niya. They are a little bit uh, breaking apart. Medyo. Uh, medyo may na kinain na ng weathering. All right. Yeah. You take a peek at the window outside Prinella, and it seems like the mists have cleared up. Oh. You see, you can see from your from the this window over here, in the distance, it just leads into the wilderness. All right. Yeah. Uh, you go out. You begin to go down the stairs, and yeah, the, the third floor, as you recall, is old and dusty. And uh, you continue on down. And at this point, you realize that something has changed within the house. The second floor is also dusty, same as the third floor and the attic. And uh, yeah. Uh, you can see the wood paneling on the walls are slowly rotting away and uh, there's just a lot of dust and cobweb everywhere. The fuck? But okay. yeah, as you as you continue on out, nakikita nyo nga, yeah, yung mga paintings na nadaanan nyo, some of them are uh, torn, parang naluma, naluma na talaga. And then, uh, yeah. Are you going to leave the house? Yeah. Yeah. You leave the house. Oops. You leave the house and you are out on the streets of what looks like a town. Wait, let's, wait, let's investigate the town. 
you step out and uh, it is currently night time you can see the moon in the distance and yeah. uh, no, you didn't. The yeah. town wasn't there when we first arrived, so this yeah. is very ominous. Yeah, you came out here in the in this part of the town, and yeah, uh, you can see the the house that you came from as you step outside and uh, out on the street. It again, the house is old, and you can see the walls from the outside is uh, rotting. <laughs> And what, yeah, what does the rest of the town look like? Like from where we are? From where you are, the other houses that are beside the house that you just came out from, some of them also look like they are abandoned. You can see the windows are boarded up. Some of them have windows that are boarded up, and uh, it, there's just a scatterment of houses that are that looks like they might be inhabited by someone. But yeah, it's very gloomy here, in where you are. Uh, and it seems like Alex, a majority Alex, of the town. Yes. Can I tell? Can I tell the group where we are? Like, can I do a history check? Yeah. In, you uh, know, so... no, you know it. You know it that you are in the village of Barovia. Yeah. So I mentioned to, uh, I mentioned to the group, uh, welcome to Barovia. As you can see, it's all smiles and rainbows. And um, I, I tell about the history of what, 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 what. Uh, what the town is and uh, what their main commerce are and what, yeah, basically, what the facts that Barovia have has. Yeah. Basically yeah. what uh, what Helborg tells you is that Barovia is the most oppressed town here in the valley uh, because Barovia is under the direct watch of Castle Ravenloft which you guys know is the castle in the distance, in the mountains that are overlooking the village and the valley itself. And yeah, it does really reflect in what you see because there are not a lot of people. Actually, there are no people out in the streets. It's just you. And yeah, it's getting dark out. Probably it would be a good idea to find a place to rest. So. I ask Helborg where it's the closest in. Yeah, uh, he points you to an inn over here. In the center of the town, there is a. Ah, wait. Ay nakikita nyo ba yung mga pinko kanina? Oh, di ba? Dito kayo galing. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Helborg just tells you that in the center of the town, there is an inn. This one? That is, yeah. That's the inn that you went in earlier, Helborg. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned to the I mentioned to the group, uh, safeguard your coin, safeguard your coin, and um, be prepared, uh, be prepared to get drunk, because mm -hmm. because the wine here is strong nice. to drown out the sorrows of the land. Oh, Malachi's favorite thing. And what of the the house? Are we done with that dungeon? Rose and Thorn, was it? We we don't know if he even like. We have um, no idea what happened. We have no idea what happened. Yeah, because there was this like kid uh, Rose and Thorn who told us that there is a monster downstairs. He came back for them, but um, apparently there isn't. So probably we should like ask around the inn about like Rose and Thorn and these things. Okay, yeah. So, what do you call that? Um, so, nasa inna ba tayo? Are we in the inn already or not yet? Uh, kayo ba? Yeah, let's say you're wa walking towards the inn. Okay, sige, sige. So, yeah. Um, I mentioned my... Um, I, I mentioned my backstory. Wait lang, hold on. One second, let me... Let me pull it up. Wait, one second. So yeah, so Lynn, you mentioned. Ah, oh, sorry, 
Prinella mentioned that. Yeah, I, I say no. I don't. I I am not a native of. I am not na- I'm not a native of this town. Um, but this town is uh, is filled with is filled with sorrow because of Castle Ra- Castle Ravenlock. So, what do you call that? Um, I mentioned to the group that this place is cursed because of Strahd. Um, because of Bar- oh, because of our Barovian ancestors, then there um although a vampire is almighty and powerful but we all know that uh i mentioned to the group at th- that vampires have weaknesses a vampire cannot be a, a vampire cannot be cannot enter a place where he is not invited a vampire can transform into bats wolves mists or can be in its humanoid form form which is the most powerful form that he has with a powerful gaze that is mesmerizing and can hypnotize you also running water burns vampires like acid and of course we all know sunlight uh i mentioned to the group that sunlight causes vampires to burst into flames however no no probably a myth probably a myth i i um Helborg, Hel- Helborg's uh, brows of um, <laughs> uh, uh, um, like um, furl over, <laughs> furl overs, and ask the question. No, I don't think garlic has an effect for vampires. And um, also, Helborg mentions to the group that um, that no one is welcome in the castles and uh, no one is welcome in the castle raven um, is welcome in castle raven and that whoever ventures inside the castle or in the or in the immediate vicinity of castle raven love is never heard from again then i don't know um all I blanked out because of um, I blanked out and I de- I don't know where I just followed a voice and I followed I followed a voice that moved me again moved me to that house so I really can't tell um, and I mentioned I mentioned to the group that I I come from a village called uh, Balik. That's that's Valaki, Valaki. Uh, sorry, Valaki. Yeah. That's uh, that's where that's where I was born and I was raised. And um, it's it's not far from here. Um, but yeah, I have been here before. So yeah, yeah. Um, that's all I can tell based on my knowledge as a Baron. All right. So yeah, at this point, as you guys are. Uh... Uh, traveling along the streets of the village of Barovia, it does. Uh, yeah, everything uh, Helborg just mentioned you truly reflects in this area, especially it being the most oppressed village in the vill- in the valley. Because yeah, like I said, a uh, majority of the houses here look like they are abandoned, but you do see the occasional uh, light coming from some of them uh, ign- indicating that some of them are inhabited by someone but it seems like they are trying their best to stay off from the streets especially during night time and as you are walking along the streets of the village of Barovia you can see a single shaft of light thrusting illumination illumination into the into the streets of Barovia and uh, you can see that there is a sign hanging on the above the doorway and it says blood on the vine tavern so i mentioned to the group yeah this is one of the taverns known here um we can find shelter and respite right as you step into the tavern that's where we'll end our session for now level up kami yes. or hindi pa mamaya yes. pa level up actually you guys <laughs> level up. 
Yeah. Okay, let's level up. So I guess we can do our leveling session pag yeah. start ng next week. Uh, pag start. Pag balik ni Paul. Yeah. And the uh, character ni RT. Yeah. Kaya Ayun, tinigil ko na din kasi uh, it's the perfect time to insert mm. characters ni RT. So yeah, we'll we'll see. Yay, pahel ko gawa ng tune. Kung sino sa inyo. Silix. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sige. <laughs> ano ba? Ano ba yun? Hindi, hindi yata, hindi yata. Hindi Kitignan naman kailangan na, ano, no? Hindi naman kailangan na from... Ah, well, you have the option, low kung yung backstory mo and everything. It's so open-ended. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, for for your information, ang backstory nila, uh, the four of them are from a faraway land, not from not a native of this land. And they got transported here by a mist. As they are traveling along the road, nag a mist envelops them and uh, it seems to have taken them to this foreign land. However, si Helborg, which is yung character ni Rain, he is a native of Bar- Barovia. So, ikaw bahala kung gusto mong gawing yung character mo is parang yung sa kanilang apat na isekai from another world or <laughs> or parang character ni Rain na a native of Barovia. Oh okay, so you say all fun and gloom, uh, all fun and cheery. Is there, is there like a neighboring country here, or random to? Uh, there are villages that are scattered about, and uh, you know that there, uh, there is the mist that is continue that continues to linger around the, the land, and parang you have you have heard of travelers if uh, well if you are a native to Barovia. Yeah, for example, the Sehelberg, yeah. You know that uh, there are there are occasional wanderers through the mist. From However, the doing it, doing it, it takes a Actually, no one knows how to travel the mist. Uh, it seems like uh, the mist okay. just decides where you go. All right. Just okay. imagine like um, like young mist is in- enveloping the whole area. Yeah. Na may mga certain spots lang or may certain areas lang na Walang mist. But if you go to the mist, it's you won't get out. Or, yeah, you, you'll yeah. die in the mist. Uh, and so, yeah, this land, this land is full of dangers because outside of a civilization, there are a lots of lots of creatures, agents of Strad himself, mostly wolves, dire wolves, and there are, siempre there are other things also. That yeah, you no. will probably discover on your own pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sad. Yeah. And Yuma class, nyo. So J yeah. is like a mage, right? Yeah. Uh, si J, Warlock. si Natstantin is a human warlock. Si... No, I'm a. Ay, yeah, Asimar ka pala. Asimar. Asimar warlock. Si Bim, as you know, is a wood elf ranger. Helborg is a human blood hunter. Malakai is a halfling rogue. Prinella is a Kalashtar uh, cleric. Oh. So, so what yung race dito of... important rin pag uh-huh. kinecreate mo. Kasi, yeah. yung race dito is almost like, kunwari level 1, it's almost as powerful as a class na rin. By itself. Pero, like, progressing, mas malakas na yung class. Pero yung race traits mo are very important as well. So your starting yeah. class. Yeah. Uh, um, level yeah. three na tayo, no? Technically, Nagi. yes, level three na. So I'll be starting three. as level one. three na rin. Level You will be also level three, para madali. Tapos leveling, uh, yung leveling dito kung mapapansin mo, uh, di ako nagbibigay ng experience points, so kasi hassle yun yun, hassle to keep track. So milestone leveling tayo. So if you reach certain points in the story. You you will be able to level up. I'll just tell you when. Okay. Pag the made the magdag bana players, does it make the whole experience a lot easier? Or I don't. I kind of don't want that. Well, uh, yeah. Pero then, I can. Okay. I, I balance it, naman. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like the dadag the dadag dagan naman ng DM usually yung HP so kaya. Mm, yeah, HP gan damage siguro. Well, if you mean na parang kahaba yung sessions. Um, yeah, it most definitely will. Haha, ba talaga yung session. Kasi yeah, kasi yung mga action mo. Uh-huh. Pero then again, it depends. Like, uh-huh. 
ano eh, like some some people kapag kunwari non-combat like ako I, I tend to do a lot minimal things out of combat mm. sina Paul sina Lin may rig silang mag-explore yeah. out of combat si PJ tsaka ako usually we just stand back <laughs> mm-hmm. tapos kapag may naisip lang yeah yeah <laughs> Pag fireplace yan, expertise yan. So it, it no, depends pa rin. Like, kunwari, if you had like more people tapos mahilig sila mag-explore lahat, nag, tumatagal yung session. Pero like, I think for our group, since marami nag-hold back, especially for the more experienced ones, like pinapabayaan namin yung mga kakastart lang mag-D&D na sila na lang yung mag-explore. Tapos yeah. nakahangback lang kami. Okay lang yan, low. I, hmm. I don't think the yeah. man who joining the group will be... <laughs> Yeah, it's not detrimental. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. okay Alright, that's good to know. Okay. Actually, well, pwede ka nang gumawa ng character ngayon. Eh. Since it's like, 11 o'clock, and I think we can spend this time helping you out making your character. Yeah, yeah you can if you want. May, ano, may tinaga ko din siya sa, ano. Yeah, actually, 